Michael, Group A. And this is the group that Nick would, would contribute the most if he was on this podcast. Group A, you got Bayern Munich, champions of Germany. You got FC Copenhagen. Uh, you got Galatasaray. And you got Manchester United. Uh, Manchester United is going to open it up with Bayern. And then Galatasaray and Copenhagen are going head-to-head in match week one. Dude, what are you thinking about this group? What, where, where do you see teams finish? Who are you excited to watch? Does Harry Kane go back in the old form and beat the shit out of his former Premier League foes? I don't see a lot of movement in how you just listed it down there. I think no uh, way. No, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, I think, I think FC Copenhagen. You said it right the first time. Then you said Copenhagen after that. Uh, Same place. Sorry. Yeah, I guess. You got me last pod for a, a pronunciation, so I had to yeah. return. Galatasaray, I think the only one that can fight for that second spot. You're a, a, a way bigger proponent of the Turkish league than I am. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I personally, I think you are. You should fluctuate between. It's kind of unforgivable if man you do not finish second in this group because like i don't think they'll Mm -hmm. finish first i think byron will um and like they should finish second but if they don't it's not the end of the world i don't think there's Mm -hmm. any like it's 50 50 i think they're definitely the favorites to finish second and i think copenhagen is is pretty happy to be there if they pick up some points maybe drop into europe league that would be that would be a pretty big deal for them yeah, I, I totally agree. It's it's really interesting because, like, you want to be, in my head, I want to be gracious to other teams, but then I get to play the game on the other foot where it's like, I think the Premier League is the best league in the world, and it, you can't really, you know, do those things together. I do think going away to Galatasaray is going to be tough. Like, Turkish fans are just kind of fucking wild and crazy, and, and there's going to be flares, and there's going to be trash, and there's going to be, like, whatever... And on top of that, like, Galatasaray is essentially the land of misfit toys for, like, older players now. They got Icardi, they got Saha, they got, um, shit, a few other people that on the top of my brain, on the top of my cranium is not coming to me right now. Um, and, like, Man United, as we just talked about yesterday and we've been talking about here in our normal Premier League podcast, not starting the hottest. Eric Ten Heisenberg um, does not look that great right now. Brother, they got Davinson Sanchez. Mm-hmm. They got Tenge and Dombele. Mm-hmm. Just got him. And they got ha- and they got Hakeem Ziyech. Yep. That's the one I was thinking that I was like, I know there's another big name there. It's an interesting team. Um, like, if they do finish second, I wouldn't be surprised. I do feel like if 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 Man United finished third there's going to be a really wild Europa League coming, essentially. Like, I think I think that'll be a, a stack pack. But I'm with you. If you're a Man United fan, if you're a fan of soccer, you got to assume Man United's favorite to finish second. Bayern's got to take the top spot. Galatasaray is going to Europa League. And how you just said, Copenhagen, they're, uh, they're just happy to be here, man. They're just happy to, to, be, to be part of the Absolutely. Anthem. Let me just finish this off, though. Dries Mertens, yep. Lucas Torreira, yep, and and somebody that you'll be very familiar with, Angelino. Absolutely, uh, Angelino taking his talents to Turkey. Look, it's one of those. It's a FIFA team that only I would create. I think you don't really do this too often. <laughs> I love going into FIFA and being like, "Who are the old guys that people said were washed up and can't play anymore?" And I'm gonna have them have a great season. That's the type of storyline I like. Um, Love the team like this. So I'm rooting for Galatasaray for sure. For sure. Sounds good. We both, we're we both on Copenhagen last, right? Yeah, just happy to be here. Okay, perfect.